So just got done doing a little bit of shopping over at Lee's Global Tackle. Um, it's like one minute from my house. As you guys probably know, they sell some great JDM stuff. I got some hardtails. I haven't been able to find those anywhere. I was going to buy some off Tackle Warehouse, but got some hardtails. And I also got a Jack of Pompadour. Um, had to get it. It was an impulse buy. Not cheap, but I just had to do it. And what else did I get? Oh, some little Kitek drop shot baits. I haven't seen these before. And I think I got something else too. So, great little store. Quickly spent a bunch of money, but I mean, it's JDM stuff, so it's not cheap. We are, man, it's actually getting a little dark. We are taking a trip out a little ways away to do some pond fishing. Um, I've been trying to find some, some other ponds that I can go to, and I'm just now realizing that I'm actually going the wrong direction. Okay, well, I um, guess I'm going this route. Um, my, my goal today is to do some frog fishing, maybe toss around a Senko, we'll see. That's it, um, really simple. Uh, two baits. I got a wacky rig Senko on on one line. I've got a, it's a St. Cory Avid six eight um, medium extra fast tip and a uh, Shimano. What's the Aldebaran? I got a Shimano Aldebaran on there. Love that setup for um, tossing around light light baits. I mean, it throws a weightless Senko awesome. I think I got like 20 pound Power Pro tied up with an 8 pound liter um, Cigar and Viz X. Let's see, what else? The other rod I'm bringing is a 7-2 The other rod I've got is a 7-2 Ducket Heavy and that's my frog and rod. I've got a Daiwa Zillion reel on there, which I'm just now realizing is not working very good at the moment. I'm missing a screw on the side plate. On there, I've got, I think, 40 or 50 pound Power Pro braid. And I think from a, for a bait on that, I've got Probably, oh, I've got a Spro, Bronze Eye Junior. I really like the, I like the Junior much better than the, the full size 65. I think this is the 55, or maybe I got that backwards, but I really like the Junior versus the normal size. Um, I feel like I get I get better hookup ratios. So we're going out to these little little, little ponds I've never been to before. Um, from what I understand, they are pretty covered in scum. That's what I'm looking for. I've tried a couple other ones the last couple days and they are not going to make it to video because I did not catch anything. So you know, when you're trying new places, you are not going to catch fish every time. So if you are looking for JDM Tackle though, hit up Lee's Global Tackle. Uh, specifically, I go, there's a big bump. I go to the one in Carroll Stream. I've been to the Arlington Heights one too, which is pretty nice, but I actually like the little Carroll Stream one. Um, it's Mis misleadingly large um, from the very outside it looks quite small and you walk in and it's a big tackle room and shop local Oh, did you guys see that? That was ridiculous. <laughs> he bit it right in front of me and came off. That was sweet.
we go. Oh man, look how dark he is. His lip is ripped up. He's skinny. Not a bad fish. Let him go. There's another one, another little guy. These guys have had their rip, lips ripped. Jesus. Bye bye. a little better. Whew. Look at me. Look at me. Here's the big one. There's the best one of the day. Awesome. Man, look at that lip. There we go. Alright, I think it's time to move on. There we go. There's another one. Alright guys, so it's obviously dark. I'm sure you probably didn't get the last bit on the GoPro, but it was actually a really good night at this local pond. Um, I'm going to have to come back here. There's a whole bunch of ponds in the area that I really want to test out. So um, I think I got like six or seven fish all in a little, little over an hour or so. Um, and the bite actually slowed down quite a bit at the very end. So I probably got all those in maybe an hour, which is just really good. Um, for a while, it was like every two or three casts I was getting one, and I missed probably three different fish. I missed a really good one, um, really in the back part of this um, drainage pipe. 
So I'm um, definitely gonna have to come back. Quickly just wanna show you what I got at Lee's earlier today. So let's see here, I've got Okay, so I got some hardtails. Uh, I have not been able to get these anywhere. These are in uh, a bluegill color. I got that's right. These missile, these missile drop cross. Um, I really like the look of them. I think I could definitely use them. And let's see what else. Here's those Kitex. You got electric shad. Custom leech. I like the size. I like the ribbing on it because um, I think that they'll displace a little bit of water, put off some vibration as I'm shaking them. So I think they're going to be a great drop shot bait. And the price actually isn't too bad. Five bucks for ten. Um, so I mean that's pretty consistent with a lot of other drop shot baits. And then the last thing I got was, as I mentioned earlier, this is a bit of a splurge, but pompadour. Um, in fact, actually, I would love to try it on this lake that I was just at in the non-weedy areas. Uh, so this looks like it's just in a, a basic frog color. Um, but looking forward to that. So otherwise, I'll be going fishing this weekend with my sister. We're probably going to go up to either Delvin or Braidwood. Um, I'm leaning towards Braidwood because I think it'll be easier for her. I don't think she's ever thrown a baitcaster, and I really don't want her to fish um, frogfish using a spinning rod. And I think she can get... Uh, we can have a more consistent bite of braidwood. So, otherwise, I will see you guys then. Peace.